guys. So, today I have for you an everything five pounds haul. My name's Fawn, this is my channel, and I do lots of unboxings and hauls and review, well not so many reviews, but yeah, I kind of do review things while I'm trying them on, let's be fair. Anyway, if you like that sort of thing and you just like, you know, having a bit of a chat, then please do consider um, hitting the notification bell, subscribing, thumbs upping, commenting, all that stuff. As some of you know, I did an Everything Five Pounds haul a while ago and was really, really underwhelmed. Um, I had a smelly jumper. But quite a few people said to me, oh no, 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 they're much better than you realise. And some YouTubers that I follow, some people that I've followed for a long, long time and really think a lot of, have had quite a few Everything Five Pounds hauls and seem to have loved what they've got. So either I was really, really unlucky or anyway, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna give it another go. I'll quickly go through what I bought and then we'll go on to um, a try on and see just what do we think. So where to start? I think I'll start here. It's easy enough because everything is five pounds, so I don't have to worry about giving you prices and things like that. So first up, I saw this shirt. It is very creased and crinkled, but I saw this shirt or blouse. I thought it was really pretty. It's the blue and yellows, short sleeve, bit of a scoop neck. It's got a touch of ruching on the shoulder and it's got an elasticated bottom. So I thought it was pretty, pretty colours and that yellow is quite good moving into autumn. Then I picked up, oh, I'm being bold here. They called it orange, but I think it's more of a red than an orange, a shirt. It's a sort of crepey material. V-neck, couple of buttons here, but basically it's a tunic top with long sleeves. So let's give it a go. You know me in black, guys, so if I see a black top, I can't resist. I have to try it. It is very, very creased, I will say. It is a traditional button down. Bit of a collar. Never really shows very well black, does it? And I think it's got a three-quarter sleeve. Dropped shoulder, I think. We'll know better when I try it on. The blue in this caught my attention. Again, it's a crepey material. I would say that's a three-quarter sleeve with elastication. It has a sort of a notch neck with ties. It looks fairly long and the colour is very pretty. It's, um, again, yeah, a crepey polyester type of fabric. This one may be a bit of a challenge because it's far more see-through than I thought it was going to be. I think they call this window pane check. It's a long sleeve. Can you see the check on that? Again, traditional button through, long length. Could be great, but as I say, I have a suspicion it would be something I'd have to wear um, a cami under or something. We're getting down to the last few things now, you're relieved to know, but I wanted to be fair this time. Well, not that I wasn't fair last time, but you know, I wanted to really go for it and see what they had. This, I don't think is me anyway. I didn't actually realise, I thought I was buying this as a t-shirt. <laughs> but it's one of these where it's a t-shirt and cardigan built into one. It's not really me, but that is my taste. Not, you know, because I get so hot. But it is nice, it's a grey cardigan over this sort of red and black sort of animal print top. The colour, here we go. But I was disappointed, I'm, I went back and I checked and it is my fault, it did say satin. This is a sort of a satin shirt, it was the colour that got me. Long sleeves, only buttons to about there and then it's just a throw over your head sort of tunic. But it is satiny and again that's me, not the product, me. I'm not sure about the, the shine. I'm not putting this very well am I? I'm so busy trying to not be unfair that I am sort of um, lost for words. Then I picked up what I thought was a really pretty knit but again it's a lot thinner than I thought it was going to be. I mean you can see me clearly through there but it's such a pretty shade of blue. This one doesn't smell <laughs> but I thought it was really really nice and I thought I do like a bit of blue. I have my blue moments. And last but not least is that true? No, no, there's a little bit of jewellery as well. 
I picked up some boots now. That's what they look like. Bit of sort of animal print. I don't know if they're coming up very well. They're very light because it's all, um, I always want to say plastic, vegan leather. Um, they have a zip, which I hope will help me get them on and off because I hate faffing with laces. Oh no, the zip is just, oops, let me do that back up. The zip is just a decoration. Oh, I can't do it up. Sorry guys. So it is a traditional lace up. It's, they're furry inside. I mean, they're kind of cute. They do look, you know, when, when you hold them here, they do look quite plasticky, but there is a good chance that once they're on your feet, that they're gonna look far better quality. I, oh gosh. Yes, so that's those ones. If I ever manage to get that zip done back up. And then the last thing was a necklace. I thought that was really nice for wearing on black tops. It's got a sort of mock leather string chain to it, but it does have an extender. But it was actually the, the, the pendant. I just thought that was really, really nice. I don't even know if I'd keep it on that. I might put it on a longer chain to get the impact that I want. Depends on where it falls on me when I try it on. So there we go. That's the things that I picked up. As you know, everything was five pounds. So um, let's give it a try, shall we? Okay, top number one, and I like it. I do like it. I don't think it works with, I've got black, you know, my black trousers on. I think it would look a lot better with blue jeans. Um, I'm never great about elastication here, but I think it's hitting okay. It is really nice quality. I would say it's a sort of a cotton blend, maybe a viscous, but it's nice and soft. The sleeve length, I think is pretty good, and it's quite loose. So I could wear that with quite a lot of things. Layer it up, jeans, jean jackets. I like it. Okay, this is crepe, so it's a bit less sort of breathable. The sleeves are a bit long and I would need to pull them up or fold them up. I think the neckline on it is cute. Can you see it's got a, a notch detail to it? It fits reasonably well. Turn, it covers my bum, comes down long enough to give me a bit of coverage here. My only issue is it's a little bit tight when I do that. Um, not when I do that, strangely enough. So the back is cut, you know, I've got quite a big back, I suppose. But I do like it. Um, not sure that I like it enough for the fabric. But I don't know. You know I love black girls and it's usually very flattering but this oversized shirt is very oversized. Um, the sleeves have resulted in being sort of full length. It just looks very wrong. Um, it's not kind, it's not flattering, it's standing away from me because there's just so much fabric. And funnily enough the fabric is nice fabric. Um, it really does feel like I've put on someone else's shirt. You know it needs to be more you know, and then I end up with a lot of fabric in the middle. I'm never very keen on something where when I lift my arms up, the whole, you know, the whole thing sort of billows out. But it's lovely fabric and a great fit, although a different fit. Hmm, well I think I like this one. It's blue. You know I like a bit of blue and it's a very vibrant blue. It is a really good fit. There's no issues with the back on this one, even though it is a head over again. It's got this little, I don't know if you can see if I come in, it's got like a little seam thing that runs down the front, which I like. I've left the ties undone to make the most of the V, but of course you could do them up. It is a true three quarter sleeve with a bit of elastic, they would be worn there, and it's quite a nice length. Again, not sure it works with these black trousers, but they were what I happened to have on today. Um, I think I like this one. Yeah, you have to let me know. This one doesn't work for me. It's much too tight across here. I'm gaping really badly. Um, 
it has been tried on by someone before because it was left unbuttoned all the way down to like one button. I think they probably found the same issue that I did. This one has been massively undercut in the chest area. It's not as see-through on as I thought it would be. I mean, it is see-through, I'm sure you can tell, but it's not as horrific as I thought it was going to be. It is a nice shirt, but this is definitely one that you'd have to size up in. Um, so no, not for me, but overall, a nice shirt. This one, as I said, was my mistake that I don't like it for me, but it's actually a really nice top. I couldn't wear it because I would get too hot. I've got to be able to take things off. I actually thought I was ordering just the top underneath. Didn't read it properly. Come on, fawn, wakey, wakey. Anyway, sleeve length is lovely. It's nice and comfortable. I think it hangs fairly well. Bit clingy on the back, but you know I have that problem with everything. I think for the right person, this would look great. You could pull the sleeves up, make it a bit more bearable, but as I say, I mean, I am, because when I get a flush on, I need to be able to take everything off, and you can't with this. But if you're not someone having flushes, and in fact feels a little bit of chilly, I think this would be ideal. I still love the color on this, but I don't do shine, folks, so this is, an, again, ruled out for me. But it is a really pretty blouse. It's got that notch neck again, which I think is nice. It is a head over one. I think it must be sort of virtually the same pattern um, as the bright red one, but this one is in a satin fabric. Um, don't know what it's doing on the back. It's nice over the bum. I don't feel like it's projecting massively out the front. And I do love the colour, but I can't do shine. I just can't do shine. It's just not my jam. What a difference a shop makes. <laughs> The only woolly, because I was very wary after my last experience, and it's thin, but I love it. Again, not with the trousers, probably with jeans, maybe with a little skirt. I love the V-neck. I love how thin it is. This is about as close as I can get to a proper jumper and survive. I think the colour's lovely. It's got some gorgeous design details in it. I'm hoping when I watch this back on video, I don't go, what the hell were you looking at, woman? But I really do think it's nice. Of course, it's a bit clingy. It's a jumper. What do you expect? Used to that, not expecting any different. Um, for £5, I'm really impressed. Last but not least is the necklace, which I love. I've got no complaints. I have to pull my top funny then to make it work. Um, I've got no complaints. Um, I probably will put it on a slightly longer chain. I would like it to sit just a little bit lower. But again, that is a personal preference thing. That is not an issue with the necklace. And what I forgot to point out was that it did come with little stud earrings, just sort of um, silver stud earrings. Now, I wanted to try the boots on for you and couldn't. They are missized is the only thing I can think. I mean, I'm a five all day long, every day, constantly, which is a 38. And these clearly do say 38, but I think they're a four. Um, probably that's why they were. So if anybody wanted these, I would advise you to size up. Although, you know, what if I've just got the one random pair that's wrong? Oh, because they're seriously cute. But, um, couldn't get my foot in them it really hurt my toes I was going to try and sort of power through so that you've got the look but I couldn't do it lovely thick soles for walking in the winter but I just couldn't I couldn't I couldn't stand up in them so they're great but either I've got one that's slightly folded because they do say 38 on the bottom so they should be right um or they've cut them really really small and I would need a six instead. I mean, especially if I wanted to put a boot on, but they are fur lined, so they would be really, really warm and cozy. So I'm a bit gutted about that. Anyway, so that was my everything five pounds haul. And let's just do a very quick recap and I'll tell you what I think and what I'm doing. If I go back to the beginning, <laughs> I like this. And I'm happy to keep it and add it to my wardrobe. I think it's pretty colours. I think it's comfy. I think it's casual. I mean, you'd have to be deaf not to. And of course, I like the neck because I'm leaving it on. 
This one is slightly tight on the back and it is very bright. But again, I'm gonna look in the mirror. Look in the mirror, what am I talking about? I'm gonna watch the video back because I'm not sure. This is one you could wade in on guys and let, let me know what you think. Tight, slightly tight on the back, but not the end of the world. This one I think definitely has to go back, the black shirt. It is just so big in the body. I don't really know what to do with it. A bit of me thought, well, you know, if you tucked it in, but you'd still have all this fabric around your middle. And as someone who's big, I don't want more fabric. Whereas I think if you're a skinny woman, or um, that makes it sound like I don't like skinny women. I just, I'm so jealous of you. If you are really slim, this could really work because I know oversized can look fabulous on people with very slim figures. Not so good on churches like me. This one, I'm amazed. I like it. It's staying. When it came out of the bag, I thought, ooh, it's a bit blue. But I like it. And I could definitely work it in. You know I won't keep the satin. It's not me. Great top. Great colour. Great fit perfect for dressing up i mean this time of the year look at that color but i can't do satin it just brings me out in all my insecurities so that's my issue not its this one cut too tight on the boobs great otherwise oops and this one again great top with the mock you know cardigan over the top it would be perfect on a lot of people, especially with leggings. I think that would look great. But I just get so hot, I know I wouldn't be able to bear to wear it. So again, it's me, not the clothes. And last but not least is the pretty blue jumper, which I am keeping. Uh, I hope I don't see anything on here that makes me change my mind, but I'm keeping it. I really, really like it. I love how thin it is. It's beautifully soft, and I think that's a pretty color, although not necessarily a full one. So as you can see, it was a different experience this time with everything five pounds. I think what I would say to people is, from my two experiences now, it is very hit and miss. The things you think, oh, I'm bound to love that, you probably won't. And you never really know where the sizing is going to fall on these things. I mean, there's a reason they're everything five pounds. But five pounds, sorry, five pounds for a pretty jumper, that's a bargain. So if you end up spending ten but only keeping one, that's not too bad, is it? So I will attempt to send some of these back because there are a few too many and the boots are an issue. But would I do this again? Yes, I would. But I think it would be something I would do, you know, once every few months. I know their stock turns over very, very fast. I was lucky that I managed to find this many things in my size. Um, if you're a size 10, 12, 8, there's so much on there. But for larger girls, not quite so much. But um it's worth keeping an eye on when you come out with a jumper like this. <laughs> anyway, that was me. That was everything five pounds. I think I'm going to have a nightmare editing this, but there we go. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.